I'm really sad, dude. I'm super sad, dude. Dude, I haven't had breakfast and my delivery just, just got canceled. Bro, bro, dude, I'm so sad. I'm actually so destroyed. I'm Lawrence Lasui, the AD carry for the main roster for Echo Fox. He's a really chill guy. Like, he, he just goes with the flow, and he's a really funny guy, too. I mean, he's really nice guy. How, how, how can you hate that guy, right? I'm running on half a glass of water, dude. <laughs> Let's go! Thanks, bro. Yeah, Overall, thank Lawrence, you. he's just a nice kid from, from New Zealand, wherever that is. I'm from a pretty small part of the world called New Zealand. and I was brought up in this little town called Auckland. Yeah, there aren't many people in Auckland, let alone New Zealand at all. I think our, uh, our population was like hovering four million the last time I checked. <laughs> so when I was like a teenager, I had a really, really high-pitched voice, like squeaky as hell. When, when I hit puberty and, and my, my balls dropped, things went a little, little haywire. So I kind of went from like almost sounding American to somehow sounding not Asian. So I kind of lost track because I didn't like to remember uh, bad moments in my life. My mom brought me over to like this more prestigious school uh, for high school, it's called Auckland Boys Grammar. Yeah, that, that changed a lot <laughs> because I no longer had that like homely space of just like going out and doing whatever and like not caring about the larger scope of my life. I think uh, that's when I started playing League because I really started hating studying. I guess Lee kind of like functioned as an escape and for fun. For years and years, I just wanted to make it like a career so I didn't have to study. Lawrence is actually pretty cool headed for a rookie. Uh, I'm not sure if he's nervous under there, but he doesn't really show it too much on stage. Actually, I just ordered Subway 20 minutes ago and the delivery I just probably missed. I can't just boost his ego here, you know? Because if I give him the honest answer and it's just, oh, Lawrence is so good, he never never does anything on stage incorrectly, he's just the best player. But if I say that, then his ego is just out of this world. He goes on, he just wants to pick Draven next Grimms and it's just really over for us. No, not quite out there, but JJ gonna eat the stun, lost on a rampage, gets another cash in. My parents at first really weren't about hey, my kid's gonna go and play video games overseas and live with video gamers playing video games for a living. <laughs> to be honest, you know, that's entirely understandable considering from their generation, that didn't exist. Now they're just like, you know, do what you love. And I think that's really, that's really nice because my parents are really supportive of me now. Out of game, Lawrence is just a really silly and funny guy to hang out with. Uh, everybody enjoys hanging out with him. He's our little Aussie that we found back in the boot camp earlier in the year. And by the way, I'm a New Zealander. The odd and unusual thing is Lawrence actually isn't Australian, he's New Zealand. So wherever that is in the world, that's where Lawrence is from. Yeah, they're definitely weird over there. Hey, no, come on, bro, you look great today. I think the biggest misconception about OPL is that all of the players are bad. I think there are a few players who are very, very good individually, however, you know, the team play is definitely just not there for the OPL. So when I got the call from Nick to, to come and play at the bootcamp here, I was in a pretty rough spot. Bringing Lawrence actually over to uh, America to play with Echo Fox, I, I invited him to the, the Echo Fox bootcamp, first one we ran. I kind of had an idea in my head already that I thought Lawrence was going to be a really good pickup and I wanted to see him on the team, but I wanted to see him perform first against, you know, kind of more of the benchmark 80 carries in North America. Yeah, when I got that invite, it kind of like gave me a sense of validity. If I, if I do do really well at the boot camp and get picked up by the academy squad, because it makes it so, you know, I have easier stepping stones to like make this career viable. And, you know, that made me really happy and made me really motivated to, to play well here. There's no situation I'm going to 4-5 today, right, Thomas? No. Okay. Well, slight possibility of Trundle's up and... The Akali's up. And the, yeah, and the Akali is. Okay, but that's just not happening. So we brought him over, gave him time to practice, and from that boot camp, it was just like immediately told management, like, this guy's insane. Like, we should really look to keep him. And, you know, then he just ended up joining the team, basically. Hey, dude. It's so coincidental. It's hella funny. It is. <laughs> hey, hey, whoa, whoa. We're talking about you, bro. What's up, dude? We're not, no, nothing to see here. We're not. 
I feel like I don't fit into any playstyle. I kind of think of the game in a more mathematical way. I see things as ideal or unideal. I, I would like for my play to be more logical than anything else. As a person, Loss is really humble. Uh, every time he makes a mistake, he's always really willing to just admit that he made a mistake, and that's a really, really good thing. Players that come in fresh and have big egos are just never, never really a good thing in my mind. Like, it's good to have some ego, but um, he always admits to his mistakes, and he has a really good mentality to try to improve. Three for zero, Echo Fox. Oh, the snipe oh, from Vegas! Being thrown into the into the LCS roster was like a big, hey buddy, get good. You know, that put me into to like work overdrive basically and I really, really wanted to, to make it so, you know, I could I could keep up and catch up with all the LCS players and, and have a good showing. And most importantly, I wanted to make sure that like my teammates had faith in me. You know, the last thing I want is to like let them down. Loss as a player is humble and he's always looking to improve and he's very hungry. So Loss as a whole is just someone who's amazing to work with and he's always looking to just improve in general. Yeah, Lawrence was definitely in my like passion project thing. Uh, I really had a big thing about trying to get these undiscovered guys and give them a chance. So to actually see him succeed is really great and it feels good. And I hope, I hope it's just the start of many. Like I hope he's definitely just leading the way for his region and other wildcard regions too. Right now, I still have to like put on my best every single day. You know, my mind has to be on improving so that I can live up to, to the standards of my team. But um, luckily I have people, people around me to teach me a lot and rapidly, so you know, I'm happy to be with them. Jackson, that takes the next kill, but the mark is dead, and TSM will right their wrongs from their quarterfinal. So yeah, three weeks leading into Gauntlet, we do feel pretty confident against most of the teams there, and we we do know that we can beat them. It's now just down to the hard work and, you know, making good healthy habits and having good practice. Less than a clown fiesta. We all have belief in ourselves to make it to Worlds, and we're gonna do our best, and we're pretty confident heading into Gauntlet at the start of practice before Gauntlet. Can you tell me one thing about Lawrence people might not know? He's from New Zealand. Maybe Jim got it for me or something. Oh no, dude. Dude, 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 dude. I know it's over, it's actually over. Okay, maybe it's now, can we, can I go? Thank you guys for watching my video. Hopefully you guys can like, comment, and subscribe, and see you guys next time.